Hi guys, my name is MJ. Welcome to the Tutorial Channel. Okay, uh, yes, my v uh, my video gap from the previous uh, upload was quite long uh, because we were actually busy with uh, Mini Scale Festival 2024, a collab with Collectors Cube. So, uh, yes, got it done. And uh, thank you so much for everyone who actually came by uh, to, to the uh, vendors, the Malaysian artists, Dharma artists, figure artists who came. Uh, thank you so much for our brand supporting brands. Um, we have Retro Evo, Motor Drive Group, Voyager Cars, First Mile Auto, Bistry, uh, Bistry Butler, and Bistry Parks. Thank you so much. And um, yes, we I am I am talking to to people at uh, Cube as well, um, and we do plan to do another one okay for next year okay we are looking at the dates ready uh so stay tuned okay so next event that we'll that will be, we will be looking forward to would be the malaysia dakas expo that's happening on um 18 and 19 of may which they have already announced and mini gt kaido house has also announced that they're going to do a one night in malaysia dinner gathering on 17 may Okay, so that's something to look out for. So make sure you follow Collectors Cube on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok because uh, I do help them out to manage their social media. And of course, they will be posting up all these informations uh, on their platform. Cool. All right. So this time around, I want to share with you guys a recent release from Pop Race. Um, I believe you've seen the, the, the ones at the back right there have appeared in my channel before already. The Pop Race Skyline C210. Kaido Racer Bosuzuku style. Okay, so up until now, there's already three variants. Um, the first one was actually the collab with uh, Babe Streetwear for the 30th anniversary. Okay, the one at the back here in a very nice arcade box. Okay, and then came the event special edition. Okay, from Pop Race. This was actually given out. This was this was actually a surprise that was given out at um, a dinner gathering um, thing in KL. Okay, in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. And there were about 40, 50 packs. Uh, I'll make a guess. I can't recall how many were there. Were, were they, uh, were, were, were the number of attendees. I can't remember exactly how many of these were, was given out as well. Because they did give a card. Okay, but there's no number on it. So we are not exactly sure how many of these were made. Okay, however, these are, um, yeah, it has the Malaysia word on it. Okay, so... This was a special, this card is special for Malaysia, but uh, I would make an assumption that the car is not, and it did appear in the other uh, dinner events that Pop Race actually uh, um, stopped by. I think they stopped in, uh, I know they stopped in Singapore. I'm not sure they stopped in Vietnam. Um, I know that they started in Hong Kong uh, during the Macau GP. That was the first dinner. The second one was in Malaysia. The third one was in Singapore. Okay, so it came in this nice box, and I got mine signed by... Um, the CEO of Pop Race, uh, Machi Lee, okay, which uh, he himself is actually also a racer, right? So we can show you this one, right? Okay, so this is actually a very very nice casting from um, Pop Race. It's uh, the Skyline C two one zero. Okay, let me get the name right. Okay, Skyline C two one zero, Kaido Racer Pozuzuku style. So. Um, this time around, I, I, I got a help from a friend of mine. I'll put the credits in uh, down below, right? So, I got a little bit more understanding of this Bozuzuku name. Okay, Bozuzuku is basically, it's a concept, okay, of Japanese vehicle modification. Um, and Kaido Racer, right, actually refers to a specific type. So, Bozuzuku is more of a culture, a, a, a name of a culture, a name of a concept. So, this Bozuzuku, what we understand is it started in the 1980s. Um, with the uh um well we call it not naughty um motorbike uh, motorbikers okay um sorry it's actually um yeah it, it kind of started off from there so it's a youth uh counter culture okay originated in um japan okay members of uh, bozuzuku actually embrace um so anti-social behavior violence criminal activity they are known they are actually known for their crazy modified vehicles okay uh, both visually and also very loud <laughs> audio audibly very loud okay and um, so there are people of course who embrace the style, styles of this bozuku but they're not involved not necessarily involved in criminal or violent activity okay 
those are known as uh, yaki, right? So I managed to we uh, our team that's behind me, right? He managed to to find more information on Reddit and also on Lemly. So we do we will put um, uh, more details in the description below. Okay, so that's Bozuku. As a concept of a style, so this is more towards Kaido Racer. Now, Kaido Racer loosely translate to Street Racer, Highway Racer, okay? Uh, sometimes also called as uh, Zokusha, right? Or Ganka. And uh, Kaido Racers are, are a style of car commonly associated with the Mozuzuku. Styles can be wide ranging from um, the more extreme Grachastan, Grachan style builds to more subtle uh, Shakotan look, okay? So, Grachan, the Grachan look, right? Um, I'm talking about Grachan look. That would actually be more similar to, if you know, if you start from Hot Wheels, you know that Hot Wheels has done a matte manga, right, and a manga tuner. I think it's called with a crazy front uh, diffuser, okay, that goes all the way like three, four feet all the way in front, and then um, that that is one of the the very very um, obvious key detail of uh, that Gracha stand, Grachan style okay which uh, maybe i can try to show you photo later Gracha, that's gachan style with the crazy that's the most obvious thing the, the crazy front lip diffuser thing shakotan is low down car okay so as long as the car is lowered all right um it it, it, it is known as uh, shakotan as long as it's lowered but usually it's used to refer to more subtle more um sleeper just lowered um clean modif modif modification okay so the um yeah the kaido racer that that is what it refers to and the one the so the origins of gachan style right actually it's uh it was it is also known as this chibaragi uh style okay the chibaragi the chibaragi style actually is a combination of um, two prefectures in east of Tokyo, the Chiba and the Ibaraki. Okay, so that's how the name came about. <laughs> so from Chibaraki, also known as Gachan, and um, yeah, from from the more a little bit more the when Gachan is combined with uh, lowered the Shakotan, then it's a little bit of a Kaido Kaido racer genre already. All right, so that's a little bit of the backstory. All right. Um, now I want to show you this one. So the previous two right came in, come came in a very very nice um, premium box, okay, uh, packaging. So this would be the first regular release. So if I zoom in a little bit more, okay, then I can tell you a little bit more details. Uh, characterized by the wild Takeyari exhaust pipes, okay, the ultra wide works fenders and the Depa. Um, and that part, okay, that part actually refers to the front spoiler, All right? It's crazy how this thing actually rolls very, very well, All right? Takeyari pipes, okay, so Takeyari actually translate to bamboo sphere, okay? Which, uh, basically what the pipes look like. <laughs> crazy, right? That is some crazy style, and, and, yeah. So this is actually from the 80s. Okay, since the 80s, they have been doing this. Um, supposedly, hang on. Let me see what else I can I can I can read out to you. Oh, uh, the rims, SSR Mark trees. Okay, SSR Mark trees. That is actually a very very nice rims. So the same rim appear on all of them, and basically overall the overall casting, the overall design of the car. Um, the overall casting is basically exactly the same. Um, the engine details in front that's actually our uh, l20 in line six okay and then there is the this detail at the back that's actually the air suspension tanks okay in the boot it appears on all of the other releases as well and fun fact i didn't i didn't mention this in the first video when i covered when i talk about this this specific car actually so this this specific car only found out end of last year uh, around november 2020 three when um motorsport playground that's actually a wrapping uh, designer wrapping shop in kl in in malaysia um he made a post they made a post and 
actually they were the ones that were involved in this project that was really very cool um we got to meet with the designer and actually they they themselves actually flew over to japan to actually wrap the actual car um yeah so the real car is actually in japan and um yeah they flew over to to do the wrap okay so the design was done uh, by a malaysian um the car is in japan okay so this is actually a real car right that real car do exist nice nice do follow them uh they're on they're on um uh, instagram okay uh motorsport playground cool okay so very nice how pop race has built this uh casting yep yep so yeah i do get asked you know a lot of the cars that i review do they roll yes this one rolls perfectly um i really like how it's lowered it uses uh stretch tires and over fat a uh, crazy over fender right so it doesn't block the it doesn't rub onto the tires and then it rolls really very well and oh yeah it doesn't wobble much okay it, it does wobble a little bit so this is actually quite impressive okay all right price slightly higher than mini gt i think it's okay because of the opening parts okay see the headlamps the front details okay the oil cooler in front hanging down there very nice the rim details again very very nice you go to the back the tail lights i haven't showed you tail lights right tail lights are very nice as well cool open and close uh quite nicely um quite easy to open them and close it and it stays in position nice nice oh and i do get asked a lot about the figures okay they are available through collector's cube right so usually the figures i have um they are made from malaysians um sometimes it's oxm sometimes monster miniature and um the likes cool they're available through collector scoop do look them up facebook instagram tiktok they do have their own website as well they do ship international cool so that's it for this time around help me to hit the like button because that will help help me out with the youtube algorithms um what else hit the subscribe button hit the bell so that i don't miss on any of my other diecast videos uh i there is another batch of mini gt that's coming in i do look forward to cover that for you guys Cool. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Take care. Bye.